out of the house, Josh. In the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Christ, I command you to let go of Josh and let him go outside. You need to get out of the house, Josh. Josh? Get out of the house, Josh. My fear is that you'll get taken over by something that you can't get out of, and you're not going to be able to get out of that house. You have six senses and you use all of them. If that fight or flight comes in, it's your body telling you that it's time to get out before something attacks it. If your body doesn't want to die, your body's only going to warn you once. And if you defy that as a paranormal investigator and you go in anyways, you're going to find out the hard way. If this gal's going around talking about killing people, she's not kidding. Me personally, you asked me, I will tell you, don't do it. If it's attached to the house, all you have to do is step into that house. That case is so dangerous. This thing wants to hurt you. Probably this side because you're here. You say your name for me? Don. Okay. I first moved in here about six years ago. One time I thought I seen like a, an apparition in the kitchen. My brother used to joke around about it and say, uh, ghost in the house. He'd send me letters and say, oh, there's ghosts in the house. And this guy, Jason, was around. And he said that wherever we were, there was witchcraft in the house that we were in. So then I come back home and I start like feeling like there's like snakes on me. I start seeing rats run across the floor. I start feeling like something was like touching my neck all the time something was definitely like sexually seducing me um being really um touchy really grabby and it's really really heavy it's been really hard to breathe it's been on my head on my neck i the only thing i ever listen to is exorcism prayers all day long i can't listen to anything else because i feel like i have to get rid of this thing no matter what i can't I can't get up. I've been knocked out every day for two and a half years with something standing in my face punching me every day. So like the ability to get on the phone and really find someone to get help for the situation. During this time, my mom threw me in a mental institution in Upworth. My nephews had played with a Ouija board and that's also when the weird stuff started happening and I started cleaning and I looked underneath the couch and there the amulet was. Well, Jamie came down here, my ex, and he broke this thing open with a hammer and I started seeing things that were like, I started seeing like it was like swirling things in the yard. The swirl started showing up in the snow. So I've been writing in like 37 different handwritings just to like keep my conscious going. So like I'm getting all this information from different things about my life um, and about how like everything has led up to this point in my life. So it's been like, it's been pretty, pretty vicious hell of attack. Violent, very violent. And it's very like, it's attacking me about pedophiles and about a little boy and a little girl. They keep saying, where's Mama Dawn at? I keep hearing that in my head all day. Where's Mama Dawn at today? Where's Mama Dawn at today? I keep hearing it all day in my head, all day. So then it almost makes me think that maybe they we're around someone that got murdered, like their mother figure got murdered. Keeps telling me I'm living in another reality and I don't know I'm there. And it keeps like talking to me like I'm mentally handicapped. Like I'm a It keeps saying, like making fun of me, like saying stuff about Dawnin and being a It's been really rough on me. It's been bad. I've never experienced anything like it. My bed's been moving, my couches are moving. The fabric from the side of the couch flung open. The bed is, moves while I'm laying on the bed. It, um, it's been raping me, molesting me, beating me to death, biting me to death. I've been black and blue. 
bites all over my face, bites all over my body. It makes me think I'm like giving a little kid a bath that can't get to a bath, smelling the worst smells, telling me there's dog food in your face, there's dog food in your face. It's like this really thick feeling that goes around my face, like the smell of puke puke everywhere, showing up, burn holes in my blankets, um, blood, urine, getting peed on, pooped on every single day for two and a half years. Like someone literally is close enough to where they're standing right above me and peeing all over me. I've been to the hospital. So I went there and got a sexual assault kit done to helping people that are going through paranormal like activity. Is to say that they're delusional and kick them out. So I think it's like, really evil and it wants to keep people put in poverty and keep them broke and just it's just been beating the crap out of my ribs my friends started saying weird numbers every time i was there i started seeing people things running through the house like the like that are doo -doo 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 -doo, like crawling it's like definitely like a demonic a demonic um entity i feel like it's assaulting me it's telling me that it's going through every single thing that every high profile sexual predator does to trick a child, to trick a person into uh, being stuck in the sex life. There's a little baby girl, that, our baby boy, that um, keeps saying my name is Bubbles. And the sweetest little girl, little boy I could ever imagine. And um, talks to me every day. And, but it's like making me really aware of everything someone can do through sexual like predator stuff. Like one thought in your head could lead you to getting stuck in like the sex world of um, someone like using you to take advantage of you um, through sexual like um, behaviors. And um, I'm talking to where like I walk in the bathroom and, it, and I would like be shaking and like not be able to walk or talk. and it felt like somebody had like hit me so hard with something and like um it keeps talking to me about penetration sexual penetration penetration and everything this mother has done to his um this little boy and little girl about um when it first started it tries to act as a comforter to you like a like oh you're lonely you're sitting upstairs by yourself there's no one here your daughter's gone your friend's gone um, no one's here, so let me, let me, let me make you feel better. And that's how it gets in. And I think that's how it gets into every single person. And that's how it got so strong is I think through lust, through sexual demons, through sexual intercourse, through sexual, like it's, it's grasping on a form of abuse. I think the reason why God created people to be like that, they have, um, more feeling, more feeling when they talk. And so, because everybody else is so blank and we lie and we don't tell the truth and we, we cover it up. But with them, it's more easy to see, like, and that's what it was showing me. I recorded and I did so much research on the mind of being mentally handicapped. So I've learned that you can move your consciousness through another human being, through another person, there needs to be more research. There needs to be more research and there needs to be way more like paranormal investigators involved with the hospital work, with emergency services, with all of it. Because like me trying to find someone to get here took me two and a half years. If I would have found someone day one, but it, it grabbed me so hard from day one. Like it's, it's the dad hit me, hit, the dad hit me in the head real, real bad. And they said that I got blood on my brain and um, I've been laying there thinking, I, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Because it's so strong. Because I've been hit so many times in the head. And it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. And I feel so bad for that child. So bad for that child that's missing. That child's been missing a long, long time. He said, he said that child's been missing a long, long time. And no one's going to find her. No one's gonna find her, so I blame you. No one's gonna find her, so I blame you. I locked her in, I locked her in. I locked her in. So then 
you see how a ghost could really mess with your mind by making you think that there's a child somewhere that needs your help. P kept showing up on the seat and no one would be in the room. No one would be in the bathroom, but P's showing up everywhere. P is showing up in the toilet, all of the toilet seat. Poop is showing up. Well, if you're gonna pee, pee in the toilet. If you pee, pee in the toilet, don't pee on me. Haynesville, Kentucky, there's a little boy missing. I'm having extremely cold right here on my legs. I'm freezing cold on my legs right now. It feels like something's walking up and touching me. I'm feeling really light at it. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm being, I think I'm starting to lose myself again. Um, Is that right? Yeah. It's, um, It's trying to, it's, it's trying, it's, it's trying to rape me, it's raping me again, it's raping me again, it's molesting me. It's extremely diabolical, it feels like, because fluid keeps showing up everywhere around me. It's grabbing me, it's grabbing me, it's, oh, it's fighting me, it's fighting me, it's biting me, it's biting me, he's been biting me again, Mama Dawn is what he's saying, it's, he's biting me again, Mama Dawn. He's been biting me again, Mommy Dawn. Um, so it's raping you right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's been hurting me real bad. Uh, it's, it's going around me. It's cold. It's cold. It's on me. It's cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. It's. It's, um, I'm on dry ice, I'm in dry ice, I'm in dry ice. They put my body in a dry ice cupboard or a back porch. On a back porch, I got, uh, there's blood dripping to the west side of the building. I was being punched in the face. I was being punched in the face. I was being punched in the face over and over and over again because he kept punching me and punching me while I was having a massive heart attack. And I let him in my home. And I shouldn't let him in my home. You gotta be real careful when you let people in your home because they'll take advantage of you because it's a, it's a mean world right now. Stop doing this to me. I thought I could fight it. I thought I could beat it, but I would have never thought that all of a sudden one day I would start changing and talking to myself and that this person that I am right now would be taken from me and then I'd be lost in some spirit realm, being beat to death, you know, and, and, um. A group of people look at you and say, this lady's crazy. Right, right, There's right. There's gonna be another group that may look at you and say, she's on drugs. Right, right, right. And then, is there a paranormal reason for this? Oh, definitely. You know, if something can walk up and bash you in the face and rape you and be invisible doing it, now imagine that there's a whole group that planned it. When you lose the bond you have with another person, that alone can make you lose your mind. That alone can make you go crazy. So are you afraid to be in this house? It took away like my natural fear. It took away, I'm having really strong pregnant sensations right now. Bad moments with just me getting sad. Cause I'm, you know, it all starts with being sad and lonely. You know, you gotta reach out, but see, you reach out for people and then you can get the wrong influence and you can get the wrong information and you can go the wrong way in life just with a second of time. Also, like weird things started showing up in the house all the time. All these weird things started showing up, started making me think that <laughs> people could steal things from me from one reality to the next, that they could like zap into my reality, take something and then take it over there. So if you can do that, if you could, if you could tell yourself something from the future, you know, like just one thought, like, oh, don't go there on that day. Don't do this. Don't drive the car on that day. So, <laughs> you know, weird stuff, whatever. You know, give it up for the living dead, <laughs> you know. There's no one to really be mad about but me, I guess, besides the ghost world, so. It's still pretty cold on me, so. Did you bring out any thermostat or, th yeah, okay. So, what do we do next? Can I take this off? I don't know if you want to start recording. I think I need a cleansing. I keep thinking I need an exorcism. I keep thinking I need, um, keeps trying to tell me about a little kid that's getting, um, real hurt right now. So, 
Hopefully they can catch this predator that has been um, assaulting uh, women in spirit, I feel like. I feel like there's a, a ghost a man that's assaulting women in spirit. Maybe even a, a group of them. It could just be one man. It could be. Like I had a big bite mark right here on my forehead. So, you know, if anyone sees this video and you know someone of the name, um, uh, if you know someone that's got bite marks on the head and you know their killer, then you should let, you should let them know so that way I know that if the guy got caught or if the guy, um, if they figured it out about the guy. What's up? It's really angry at me. It's so angry at me. He said, what am I going to do without Dawn now? What am I going to do without Dawn now? What am I going to do? So, something, 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 something about um, some kid named Tyler Moore. Um, and the mom named Katie or something. Mm. It's um, it's been dinting up my windows. It's been moving my curtains. It's it's been moving my blinds. Um, all the time. So. Hey, drinking. Who's talking? Someone. What's that? Someone, um. Did you hear that? Yeah. Baby's gonna know. That baby's gonna know everything. You know that? My hands went up above my head in the bathtub. And it said, Israel, Israel, Israel to me. Israel, Israel, Israel to me. There needs to be so much more education. There needs to be so much more knowledge. So this happened for a reason to me. This definitely happened for a reason, to tell me the truth about my life and about how a spirit ghost, someone dying, they can be like influencing your whole world and you will never know it when you're living in it. I'm grateful that you guys came because I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered. <laughs> you know, so I don't wanna die. Throughout time, there has been documented cases of demonic possession with almost all of these cases, the medical community has used mental illness to explain these erratic behaviors. Annalisa Mitchell underwent 67 exorcisms a year prior to her death. Although Annalisa was diagnosed with epileptic psychosis and underwent years of psychiatric treatment, the demonic attacks only intensified. For five years, Annalisa would undergo extensive treatment for deep depression and claiming to hear voices. Despite being on several psychotic medications, Annalisa's condition only worsened as she became intolerant to religious objects and began speaking in several different voices. It is clear Don has mental health issues, but is there something in this house causing Don's erratic behavior? The family has asked my brothers and I to investigate the house and see if there is indeed something haunting this home. The family claims Don's behavior only worsened when she moved into this house. Is it better for a brighter shirt if I had a brighter shirt on? No, you're good. I'm gonna, um... The EDI is gonna... Put, is there, is it, you getting a good reading? It's just going crazy. I've never seen it just go crazy inside of a house. I've set it all over the place, it keeps going crazy. It's like the EMF part. Yeah. I 
I've never seen it do that before. She's barricading the doors so you can't get out. If she points a gun at you and she pulls that trigger, guess what? How do you stay in this house when all you want to do is leave? Hey, Don. You about ready? Not since our very first demonic case in St. Joe's, Missouri, have we felt this kind of fear, believe we were being set up or tested by a demon. We do believe that when we die, there is a particular judgment that takes place. So if a, if a spirit is still present of a deceased person, then God is the one who must be allowing that to happen. And then demonic possession, whereby a demon, the devil, would take temporary control of a person's body. You know, demons sometimes will try to interact with humans because they wish us to make the same choice that they've made to reject God. Because sometimes people will ask me, is it possible for the devil and the other fallen angels to repent? And the answer is no, their judgment has taken place already. I remember all too well how that case affected my brothers and I for several months. <laughs> We know you're here, you cannot hide from us. Okay, he knows your hair. It knows your hair. My fear is that that very demon has returned to once again test us. Without knowing what Don is up to in the bedroom, I decided to send Rocky to the front door. If something terrible is about to go down, I need to know he can get out of this house fast.
What's that? Is everything okay? I've been so out of it for so long that... Is everything okay? Yeah. starts cleansing. Where he starts cleansing. We need to investigate first. We got ten minutes. Do you want us to go ahead and start? Yeah. Maybe you already had the ghost and didn't even know it. And it was influencing your life the whole entire time. And you didn't realize it. Until one day you wake up and you see all the dots. I feel like I've been in Israel or somewhere where they have been recording me. And had a gun to my mom's head is what this woman is saying. Holy water and stuff up here. I volunteered to be a martyr so that way my mother wouldn't die. What's that? Just grab the holy water. The ring's at 69. Right now, I wonder if that's holding. That's like the cancer sign, you know that? The numbers for cancer. I'm gonna catch it, ghosty ghost, right now on camera. It's been beating me to death every second of the day since, like, she was in great danger, and it's so sad. You know, the guy stands our money in again. Any spirits inside this house, we want you to come forward and communicate with us. Make yourself known. We're here to help Don tonight, and we're going to make you leave. I'm going to check the 17 of your book, Dawn, is what she's saying. She said your book saved my life. A demon attachment. Is there a... Is there a...
they work in alphabetical order. They work in alphabetical order, and they um they cease they see they're ceasing to exist. They cease to exist. Can you tell us your name? Have Don write your name. It's Ariana Gomez. Ariana Gomez. You are in danger. You're in danger. You're in danger. You're in danger. I'm sorry I put you in danger. I'm sorry I put you in danger. <laughs> He's one of those girls. And screw your whole life up and put you in major danger and like get you killed. We're all in danger. We're all in danger. We're all in danger. We're all. Dragoon Trail Road now has the most accidents since the 1940s. Talk to the demon that's been hurting you. What's your name, demon? What's your name, demon? You better give me something, demon. Give me something, demon. Stop hitting me, demon. Give us a sign if you're inside this house. Never. We command you in the name of Jesus Christ, tell us your name. What's wrong? He said the Freddy mark is on you, the Freddy mark is on you. The Freddy mark. The bottom of it. We're gonna make you leave. Never. You gotta leave, spirit. Please leave me alone, spirit. Please stop hurting me. She said, I can't leave. I can't leave until I'm saved. I'm on the North Shore of the East Peninsula. Um, Do you want to use the holy water? Mm -hmm. Any spirits here? We've got holy water. If you're affecting or attacking Dawn, we command you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, leave Dawn. Lord, we pray in your name to watch over Dawn. Any negative energy that is attached to Dawn, that you drive it away. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. Don't leave me, Don. Don't you leave me, Don. Don't you leave me, Don. Tell him you gotta leave. I'm still alive, Don. I gotta get back to my body, Don, to find out if I'm alive, Don. They're saying some very harsh things to these kids. They're saying some evil things to these kids. You guys are so wrong for hurting these children. Please stop hurting the children. Don't hurt these kids, man. Just don't. I'm gonna crush you. I will build team after team after team. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Lord, we ask that you defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against everything evil and wicked inside this house. Mm -hmm. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. You must leave. Mm -hmm. Seal this room with the sign of the cross. Mm -hmm. Close all entryways, doorways, and portals inside this house. Mm -hmm. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. We seal this room mm -hmm. with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We banish you. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. My God, rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the prince of the heavenly host, by the powers of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world of the ruins of the souls. Amen. Their lies and their fears, wickedness, and to keep us safe and around, we beseech thee through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I'm being, I'm being punched right now. 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 I'm being punched.
they'll only do a minor exorcism over you. And while I was in there, the doorknobs were turning. Um, the door was opening and closing. She thinks she has a demon. She thinks she has a demon and she feels like it's choking her. Insinuating that that's not what's happening or that I'm crazy of some sort. And that's wrong. And that, you know, because I know myself very well. And you know when something's not good. And you know when something's not normal. I think you, you definitely have power to you, no doubt about it, that I can feel you brought in the house that is starting to make it go away. Mm -hmm. And, um, that mm -mm -mm -mm. No, you don't. 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 Praise the Saint Michael the Archangel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Most glorious Prince of the Heavenly Armies, Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in our battle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the world of darkness. Defend us in our battle and principalities against the rulers of the darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in high places. Tell to leave. Tell to leave. You gotta leave. It's time to leave. You gotta leave, spirit. You're destroying my home. You've taken my walls apart. I go to the church and I try to talk to the priest. It's gonna be, it'll be a long time before we can help you. So, that was the experience of going to the church. My walls started showing up with dirt all over them. Um, like drawings of, um, all these things started showing up everywhere. There was a fire in this room before. And it broke the window because it was so hot in here. Catch ya. Come catch it to ya. Come catch it to 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 us. Catch it to 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 us. I ask you to leave spirit. I ask you to leave spirit. I ask you to leave. I ask you to remove the trauma that has been caused in this home. I don't wish this upon anybody. It's like stabbing the back of my shoulder right now. It is like punching me. It is beating me to death. It loves it. It loves beating me to death. Leave spirit. Leave spirit. And my middle name is Lorraine. My name is Dawn. Dawn Lorraine. And so think about it. Lorraine D. Warren. She said, thank God we can finish our work. We can finish our work. We can finish our work. Like she's talking to her husband. She said, I would never do this without my husband here. She said, you have to find a husband. You have to find someone to do it with. As I was uh, starting over, um, my family came in here and they just started destroying everything. They just started tearing open the house. And um, so many times I had tried to like keep things normal and keep things clean and clean things off. and. I just couldn't, I couldn't ever do it. And, um, it's telling me about a fight that happened right here in the stairway. You stop, spirit. You stop. You stop doing this to Dawn. And, spirit. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's made me completely lifeless. No life. Just drugged, raped, beat to death. I think this is what's going on. Paraphilia. Paraphilia. It's a paraphiliac. It's, um, like a pedophile. The word para. Paranormal. The root word para. Ooh, smells. That's what I'm talking about. And it would cause massive interruptions in static electricity. House is divided. So you go into the house and you separate them. And then you get them addicted and then you bring them the drugs. You get them addicted and you bring them the drugs. And then you take some out. And if one brother's not listening or someone is getting domestic violence, then you throw them out. You know? Mm-hmm. So you see, the pandemic is the start of it all. If we don't all figure it out together.
it's gonna only get worse. So did you think we were in danger by coming here? Um, I thought that your equipment would fail. I had to go climb up the to the um, top of the railroad track over there. And I had to, um, because it was like, I'm underwater. I, it was telling me, I'm underwater. I'm underwater. I'm underwater. And that's how it all started. And in the beginning, that's how I kept seeing it. It was like this black fur type look. And it's like, I'm these faces are coming up to you and showing you their faces like... I believe that the, Jesus has the power over the demons and that he, you can't... He, he has power over them. And just give him the power. And just give him the power. And just give him the power. Just say, you know, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. You know. Do you ever pray with her? Or? Yes. And, and we read prayers and... I mean, I don't know what to say, so I just read prayers. Mm -hmm. See a priest and he read the prayers that, you know, they were doing exorcism. And For our safety and Don's safety, I have decided to call off this investigation. If this is strictly mental illness, I do not want to make the situation worse. We will head back to Ohio and consult with the paranormal clergy. For now, this battle will have to wait. You okay? Yeah, you just catch yourself daydreaming in this house. I think you should probably go back outside, Josh. Is Josh safe in that house? Oh, Josh! Josh! Can you do me a favor and just walk outside for a minute? Josh? You're gonna have to talk to me, Josh. Okay, go outside. There's nothing to think about in that house. Josh, go outside. You need to get out of the house, Josh. In the name of Jesus Christ and the blood of Christ. Who's Josh talking to? You could ask her to recite the Lord's Prayer. If she's demonically possessed, she can't finish it. She couldn't even start it. Can you say the Lord's Prayer? Can you look at me and say the Lord's Prayer? I just can't stop shaking. Okay, you need to get out of the house, Josh. Can you not say it or do you not want to say it? Try it. Our Father. Lord, we ask that you cast out all the demonic forces and negative energy that is attached to Dawn and keep her safe. We drive them out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I chill the hell out with that shit, man. You could definitely find a better fucking sales technique that way, couldn't you? I mean, I could. No fucking doubt about it. Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just stop and shut up and don't say anything more. Don't get involved. Don't you do this no more. You're doing? Just shut up, okay? You shouldn't be fucking telling some random fucking stranger just fucking anything, number one. So you need to fucking chill out with that bullshit, okay? Be my fucking mom. See, that's not my fucking mom. You see what I'm saying? Jerk, man. You are dirty, dirty, dirty man. Oh my god, you're evil. Fuck you. God's not doing shit for you. Where did Donna go today? Where did Dawn and go? Where did Dawn and go? Where did Dawn and go today? Where did Dawn and go today?